just to give you guys a quick update. I don't have been posted anything about staring in a while. This is the battery box in the trunk. I have relocated towel bars. Thanks to my boy Terrence. New exhaust. And we sump welded on sump on the stock tank with a uh, Dash 10 PTFE stainless steel braided lines. Car is running off of a Haltec Elite 2000. It's a little dirty right now because it's in Florida. And uh, these are all the people that were great help to me doing this build. A lot of you guys have seen the K2 sticker wondering, yo, well, just to let you know, the car has a Honda throttle body on there. FAP Auto. For my rims. Big shout out to you guys out in Jersey. RPM NYC, Tommy. Love you guys, man. Miss you guys. Want to see you guys soon. And that's my company, Level 10 Photography. And full race for making some of the coolest stuff that's full race sump on the tank stainless steel full race uh, turbo blanket we got the k-tune uh, four bar map sensor k-tune tps these are the wheels they are 18 by 11 in the rear cosmic racing Let me focus for you Sitting on a 295 30 18 in the back, 18 by 11 titanium lug nuts, ARP studs, Toyo Proxy R888 R's. We've got the interior is a little dirty right now. We got the Gretty steering wheel, and if you can see there, we have the Haltech IC7 dash. Fully built transmission with a transmission temperature gauge, mechanical, of course. Built by my boy, Five Towns, New York, Roger, Gibraltar Transmission for help me putting this transmission together to hold all the torque that this thing is putting out, which is a lot. Actually, spin these uh these 295s when it's cold. And uh, the cluster, the holder for the IC7 was made in Australia by 3D Racing Solution. Big shout out to you guys. And it looks right at home, like it belongs there. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are waiting for. Let's get to that part. The upgrades, the motor upgrades. What you're looking at here Haltech coils, Gato intake manifold, of course, Aeromotive big boy regulator, Haltech uh, fuel pressure sensor, so there's no mechanical gauge for us to go outside to look. Grady type R blow valve. I'll let you guys know this is the best blow valve on the planet. This blow valve also works as a pop-off valve. For instance, if one day you're boosting and your wastegate is stuck uh, closed, you can adjust this blower valve to bleed off the excessive boost, which a lot of blower valve on the market today still doesn't do. And I've tested it one day and it works very well. As you can see, we got rid of the distributor. We have one coil per cylinder. Engine base is a little dirty. The car's been sitting for seven months. I just started up the other day. The battery's a little low. And we're running the HX40 H1E with the 83 back. Grady air filter, three inch intercooler piping. Haltech boost solenoid. It's 
except for high boost, of course. The motor's still stock. It's still a stock long block, so. Still a stock long block. We have a dash 10 feed, dash 8 return. We got the skunk tool throttle body. 90 millimeter throttle body from Skunk 2. Excellent product. And like I said, got a lot of cleaning to do. The car's in Florida and I was in New York. Three inch intercooler piping. Custom thermostat housing. GM style. I was going to buy the K Tune version, but I had to wait a couple of months and I needed the car running. Four-inch intercooler, upgraded trans cooler, three-inch intercooler piping. It's now direct fire. Have the crank trigger, aluminum pulley, crank pulley, aluminum water pump pulley, 180 amp alternator with the aluminum. V belt pulley thanks to quality power it's actually a turbo eclipse alternator has worked pretty well got the full race turbo blanket big shout out to my boy Richie and Tommy from RPM NYC all some of the welding I was done in this car. These guys do excellent work. If you're in the New York City, Queen Village area, these are excellent people to check out. Big shout out to my boy Milton, K tuned wagon that he has. It's a beast. If you see that wagon on the streets, don't play yourself. Big shout out to my boy from TNR Racing, Tony, Shamir, all you guys who've made all this possible for me. The car runs 100% better than the Haltech. Starts up one key, no hesitation. It's just beautiful. I'm also running, as you can see, EGTs. Because for me, this is very important. Oh yeah, I still have the cruise control because I like road trips. As you can see, one for each cylinder and what that does with the Haltech Elite Series computer it actually communicates with the computer letting it know if hey one cylinder is a little too hot the injector might go it's dead let me just it'll shut the, that cylinder off so if you're making a pass on the track and one of your cylinders goes dead the Haltech will shut that cylinder off you'll be down on power but you'll still be able to make a full pass out blowing up your motor and for a lot of you staring guys out there this is one of the best streetable computers too because it has a long-term learning all the computers that are on the market don't offer that you know I could put this thing in closed loop and run 15 pounds of boost without blowing up and the computer does all the corrections what more can you ask for my next upgrade where it's going to be the 2016 BMW DCT swap so we already have everything up to date on the car the car doesn't even use speedometer cable no more it runs on GPS speed sensor by Haltech and we're gonna be running the DCT 7 speed transmission I'll definitely keep you guys more up to date and post it post more on the build and also it's a stock long block stock rod, stock pistons, except the head, and it has a mild cam. When it comes to these motors, a mild cam is 276. And for me, that's still too small. I actually have a cam with a 583 lift for a race motor that I'm building. I'm gonna clean all this up in the next couple of weeks that we're here and do another video to give you the upgrade on what have what we have cleaned up and how it's running again. The rims. People always talk about SHP rims. 
This is real SHP. Sitting on R triple eight R. And another reason I love these tires, I'm actually on my third set of these tires. <laughs> when it comes to dry performance, I'll be honest with you, there's nothing like it on the market, period. And for a lot of you people who don't know what this car is, it came with 188 horses from the factory with a 7021 compression with 9.5 pounds of boost with 88.89s. And uh, the earlier model ran 7.5 pounds of boost. Right now, my, um, my Haltech is set in closed loop on 18.5 pounds on a stock block running 1600 cc injectors and sometimes I run a mixture of 93 octane and um, VP racing M1 my entire fuel system now is designed to run off 100% methanol I'm using two boss 044 motorsports pump dash 10 feed dash 8 return MKS uh, top hat on the tank just a return and a breather on the tank that's it Another thing too, for all those people who like to swap all these motors, thinking you're getting the grass is green on the other side, it's not. It's greener where you water it. And only bad mecha mechanics blame their tools. You can't make power with this car or this motor. I'll definitely show you how to. Even on a stock TBI setup. On a stock TBI setup, I was able to um, walk a M4 on a straightaway with 15 pounds of boost. 93 octane, a 50 50 mix of 93 octane and VP Racing M1, 15 pounds of boost, running two 1200 cc injectors, a super AFC, um, is still automatic, and um, a full exhaust with a super 16G turbo, intercooler pipe in, just bolt ons. And I was able to walk an M4 in the straight. Well, Stay tuned, guys. I got more content for you. Oh, well, let me finish. Let me explain this blow valve again for, for you. One day, when I heard, you know, this blow valve works like a pop off valve, I have a, had an HES electronic boost controller turned up to 15. I adjusted this blow valve uh, and I'm flooring the accelerator, but the blow valve won't let the car boost past 12 pounds. And you could hear the blow valve opening and closing like a wastegate, bleeding off the excessive boost. And they still sell this blow valve today. And nothing beats the sound. Ready type off. Alright, stay tuned. Hit that like and subscribe. If you love these cars the way I do, you'll definitely want to find out a whole lot more. If you're looking to go fast with throttle body injection, uh, just leave uh, a message. Or and I'll definitely uh, stay in touch with you guys. I'm located in uh, downtown West Palm Beach, Florida. I'll see you guys later.